and is only a few millimeters square. Here's Matthew playing a computer game. He's not using a mouse or a joystick, rather he's thinking of where to move the paddle. All thoughts are electrical impulses, and after extensive research and testing, a computer has been trained to decode those impulses and create the corresponding actions. Now close it. Now close. Nice. Oh, it depends for the quality of the voice. Scott wrote these words one letter at a time with nothing but his thoughts and the help of what's called a brain-computer interface, or BCI. He wears a cap that picks up the electrical activity of his brain and allows him to select letters simply by thinking about them. Then the computer turns his sentences into speech. I hate no one expects grandma to play like a professional, but for Linda Morfoot that any ball goes in is amazing. She's totally blind. The small circle in her glasses is a camera, and some clever electronics turns the images into patterns of dark and light. It captures images and converts them into an electrical signal, which is then transmitted wirelessly to an implant behind the retina. The electrodes in the implant unscramble the signal to create a crude black and white image, which is then relayed along the optic nerve to the brain. This really shows how quickly the technology is marching on. This was the prototype just six years ago. Four electrodes giving the most basic of images. This is what Linda has. Sixteen electrodes giving slightly more detail. But now, patients are getting this. Sixty electrodes offering much more complex images going into the eye. This, though, this is what scientists are working on now. One thousand electrodes that should even allow facial recognition. And in the future, who knows, perhaps even color. She managed to tap the vision from the brain of a cat and to reconstruct what the cat sees onto a computer screen. So this is a digitized movie. Um, this particular movie is a short clip from Indiana Jones, I think. Here we see the two images next to each other. On the left, the image that was shown to the cat. At the right, the image that is tapped out of the cat's brain. The picture has a lot of random flickering, the noise. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. probably the, the noise of the, the actual neur uh, neurons because they sometimes fire spontaneous spikes. We consider those noise, but maybe they reflect something else, maybe the, the thoughts or, or something. But we can distinguish that, so when we use all of those, thinking that they represent visual information, this is the reconstruction that we come up with. It is the first time an image was tapped from a brain. It proves that we can read and understand the grammar of it. By implanting electrodes into the brains of monkeys, Nicolaelis is able to eavesdrop on their thoughts. We have been recording this every day for the last five years. So we have listened to this brain for the last five years. And every day we learn something new about how it is that it operates. This monkey is feeding itself, but instead of using its own hands, it's using a robotic arm. Electrodes were implanted in the brains of two monkeys, and after a few weeks' training, they were able to use their brain waves to control a fake arm and grab a marshmallow. One of the monkeys was successful 61% of the time, and often reached for another treat while it was still chewing on the last one. It's the first time that brain activity has been used to make a prosthetic limb do something practical. For this experiment, new BMI was used to control Ashimo, Honda's humanoid robot. One of the participants in this experiment picks one of the four cards and shows it only to the user.
The user imagines moving the body part written on the card without making any physical movement. Changes in both brain waves and cerebral blood flow are measured simultaneously. The resulting data are analyzed on a real-time basis to achieve a result. Researchers in Japan have developed a brain-machine interface that allows for control of a wheelchair using thoughts alone. In this video, released by government-affiliated research unit RIKEN, the thought patterns of the researcher are being picked up by electroencephalography, or EEG sensors, mounted on his head. The data is relayed to a laptop computer that interprets it and turns it into control signals for the wheelchair, and achieve an accuracy rate of 95%. The interpretation process takes as little as a thousandth of a second, which improves on the several seconds of our systems. In a first-of-its-kind experiment, the brain activity of a monkey has been used to control the real-time walking patterns of a robot halfway around the world. Duke University researchers completed a demonstration that harnesses the brain cell activity associated with leg movement in a monkey, simulated here by computer animation, to manipulate the complex walking and standing tasks of a robot. The Duke team is working with the computational brain... But if you want to start moving objects, you can do that with the power of your mind. And all you need to do is select the option pull. And now I need to start thinking. And you start thinking to pull it towards me, pull the barrel towards me. Come on, here it comes. There it goes. It's pretty fast. And there you go. To focus on the gyroscope and keep the yellow bar beneath the green dotted line. And here I am, it's successful, which means that. Uh, it'll accurately pick up my brain waves. Okay, it's been a little rusty with Kong. Base that elevates the training remote sphere. Essentially, you are levitating the sphere with your mind. to be able to levitate the ball up and down based on the uh, powers of her concentration. See what she's doing is really focusing in on the ball and able to elevate the ball higher and higher. Good job. So what the headset is doing is reading her brain activity. The Emotive Epic Wireless Headset has 16 independent sensors that pick up electrical brain signals on the surface of the scalp. We identify um, a signature for a particular thought or a particular emotion, and then in real time, we classify those brain patterns. So when you think it, it happens on the screen. You think 13 individual detections, push, pull, lift, drop, left, right, and then rotation in six different axes in a 3D environment. You can even visualize an object disappearing, and it will. Imagine mind-controlled wheelchairs or exoskeletons. With more research, life for the physically impaired could improve dramatically. Our brains have a similar enough organization that we can use the patterns of activation from my brain to try to decode yours. They say in theory that means non-invasive mind reading is possible, but could it also be used to invade our privacy? We're able